stop. I can't believe you just said this. This video was the first time I was ever canceled in 2018. I posted this Instagram live. There was 11 viewers. Someone recorded it, posted on Facebook, and it got a quarter million hate views. People were sending me rape threats, death threats, threatening to beat the fuck out of me. People were calling the cops on me. It was crazy. I made this belligerently manic video talking about how everyone in my town engaging in this oil field convoy had no fucking clue what the Yellow Vest protest was about and had spun it into this racist, conservative, Trumpism, lock the border, immigrants are taking over bullshit. I was talking about the ignorance and bigotry of blue collar workers in rural areas like my small oil hometown of Bonneville, Alberta, and these motherfuckers lost their minds. They were like, your furnace is on because of me. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't mean we should close the border, babe. Literally everyone in my hometown hated me and wanted me dead. It was so fucking traumatic. I haven't actually even watched the video. I've just like heard quotes. But um, then it comes out later, obviously, that the Yellow Vest protest in Canada is genuinely white fucking nationalism and i'm like told ya should have done your research bitch but we see this so often even with the freedom convoy here in canada people will join this protest thinking they're protesting one thing when they're supporting a movement that is not aligned with what they think they're there for like they're telling me this has nothing to do with race or immigrants and handing out a flyer that discusses those exact issues and i'm like you can't put on a kkk mask and tell me you're here to protest for more recycling bins whether you like it or not the messaging you're putting forward is that you're the fucking kkk and as i said i was in a manic episode at the time so like my train of thoughts aren't making sense i just look wild and that made my episode out of control no one obviously wanted to talk about the privilege of growing up in an oil field town because oil was down and the repo trucks were coming in and taking the 22 year olds, trucks, trailers, boats, sleds, quads, dirt bikes. But if they lived literally anywhere else in the world, they would have never been able to afford those things in the first place. But that doesn't mean you can project your just disenfranchisement into a movement that's capitalizing on the fact that you don't really know what you're advocating for. And bro, the old white men were ready to hang me in the middle of town square. Still, when I go back to Bonneville, people are like, oh, they whisper, they honk at me when I walk down the street. I walk into the bar and people are like, oh my God, that's her. But bitch, I'd do it again. I'd say it a little differently, but I'd do it again. <laughs> it's just like the Freedom Convoy who was preying on people who were disenfranchised because of COVID and getting them to join their movement that really had nothing to do with it. So these people are just oblivious to their real agenda and are arguing with any, everyone that, no, that's not what this is about. That's not what I'm protesting. I don't believe in that stuff. I'm here for COVID. Okay, well, again, you can't wear the KKK mask and say you're advocating for recycling because you're a part of a bigger movement that has a much different message. It's just like the Freedom Convoy who was preying on people who were disenfranchised because of COVID and getting them to join their movement that really had nothing to do with it. So these people are just oblivious to their real agenda and are arguing with any, everyone that, no, that's not what this is about. That's not what I'm protesting. I don't believe in that stuff. I'm here for COVID. Okay, well, again, you can't wear the KKK mask and say you're advocating for recycling because you're a part of a bigger movement that has a much different message. And I still stand by the fact that there is a huge issue in the culture of blue collar workers in rural environments because all our empirical research has shown that these communities are more inclined to be bigots. The farther away you live from a university, the more likely you are to be a racist. <laughs>